Super Purple Banditos, welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Viridian's Gym Leader's Team Rocket. I know it was kind of weird that we took them on, and we obtained the Earth Badge. With that, guys, we have all eight badges in this game, which means we are ready to make our way to the Indigo League, but it seems like... Excuse me! The route is closed! Officials are preparing for the Pokemon League right now, so you can't come through! We can't make our way there yet, so we're actually going to go ahead and make our way back to Pallet Town and see if we can visit our mom and Professor Oak and just, you know, see what they've been up to. It's been a long time since we've actually made our way to that place, so we're going to try to do that. If you guys remember, we can actually go ahead and swim across the currents, so this should speed it up a little bit so we don't have to, you know, take the big long route that we did before. Last time we were actually in this route we, is when we saw Ho-Oh at the beginning of the game, so it's been a really long time, you know, it makes you think about everything you've been through and all the crazy adventures we've already had, all the people we've met, all the crazy shenanigans we've gotten ourselves into, but, huh? There appears to be an invisible wall blocking your path. What the heck? It's a Mr. Mime. Hey, Mr. Mime. How you doing, man? Kind of, you know, you're kind of freaking me out. You remind me a little bit of, you know, the clown from It just kind of standing here, just, just staring at us. If you want to keep on moving, you know, that'd be kind of nice. Please stop. Won't you please let me capture that Mr. Mime? The Mr. Mime ran away. The invisible wall vanished. Oh, no. Now what will I do? My name's Stella, and I'm the ringmaster of the Pokemon Traveling Circus. My Mr. Mime refused to perform because of how hard I trained it. So though I thought I might be able to catch another one. I don't know what I can do to inspire Mr. Mime again. I know. Maybe if you battle with him, Mr. Mime will be inspired to perform again. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and whoop up her Mr. Mime. So, you know, while we're going ahead and doing this, we actually have a lot of storylines to cover today. So thanks to all you guys, you know, who left me comments, gave me a lot of feedback, sent me some messages, tweeted at me. And, you know, it's, it really means a lot to me, guys. Make sure to give this video a like. It always helps the series, and it, it's really great that you guys support it. So with that, we're going to go ahead and, you know, put some lotion in the motion, put some motion into the basket, and see what we can do. And, you know, thinking about visiting... Uh, old villages or old places we've been to recently i actually took a trip to chicago and i visited some of my friends like munching orange sully pone zelda master chris from we right to pray and it was really nice getting a chance to you know spend some times with those guys if you guys saw i actually just put up a challenge sundays it was last sunday and i did it with zelda master and it was just really cool getting to hang out with old friends who i haven't seen in a really long time you know it's really nice to get back into the swing of things and see some people that you haven't seen in a while you know a lot of us keep busy because we have a lot going on in life and it you know when you get back together with those friends it feels like you know you're just two peas in a pod and you're just back to it uh, and it was really fun just getting to see some good people like that i feel that you know true friends and good friends you can just come back to and it just you know fits right in it's like two lego pieces coming together and uh, that's how it felt it was really cool going up there you know I, I enjoy traveling i always mention that to you guys and it was really nice going to explore a place that i haven't really been to before i think the only time i've been to chicago is maybe connecting on a plane ride but nothing too crazy like that but it was really nice getting to see the guys you know and it's always good to do that i highly suggest it if you haven't talked to a friend in a long time you go out there reach out to them and you know talk to them Oh, Rodri, it's so wonderful to have you home again. And you've earned enough badges to qualify for the Pokemon League, too. Oh, what Pokemon? Oh, you must be my little Mimey. It ran into our house because it was frightened. At first, I thought it was you returning from your journey. Are you kidding me? Do you honestly think I look like a Mr. Mime? Am I, you know, completely covered in pink with, like, red puffy cheeks and blue hair? I mean, is that really what our mom thinks of us? I guess so. Oh, by the way, Rodri, you'll be so pleased to know that I bought a warp program. I took the liberty of installing it to your PC. Okay, guys, cool. So I think the warp program, I mentioned to you guys before that we are probably not getting the HM fly in this game, but the warp program is basically something that can be accessed from the computers that will allow you to go ahead and teleport to any Pokemon Center that you've previously visited, which is honestly really, really freaking cool, and I'm kind of glad we got that. All right, well, it seems like a little family meeting is going on here. What's going on, Gary? Oh, he seems pretty angry at me. He, does, he wants to beat me up. That, that's the usual. Let's talk to Professor Oak. Oh, what a surprise! So you earned enough badges to qualify for the Pokemon League, huh, Rodri? It just so happens you're not the only Pokemon trainer to show up today. Oh, well, look who it is. Look who it is. Look who it is. All right, can you call, calm down, you two. Why can't Pallet Town top two Pokemon trainer? You mean, uh, uh, number one and Gary, you know what I'm saying? High fives. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Number one, number one Pokemon trainer in this place and Gary. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, oh, uh, how, how the heck? you get 10 badges. Can somebody explain that to me? 
How do you get 10 badges in a place where there are only 8 badges allowed? I don't understand that. It's a little bit confusing. I'm guessing maybe he just went to some unofficial gyms like we did. There was an official gym in Cerulean City, which we lost to. Kind of sucky. Might have been one of the few gyms. Gary has seen 60 different Pokemon, and Rodri has seen 120. Oh, yeah. Suck on that, son. Suck on that. And Gary has caught more than Poke- Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that sounds like me. You know, I dodge a lot of trainers. I like to run around, you know, do my own thing. I'm not, you know, so much about, you know, just, you know, getting Pokemon stuck in a little Pokeball. It just, you know, I feel like they're, they're better out there being free, doing their own thing. I think I'm a, I'm a nice guy for doing that. I spent so much time with the Pokemon you trainers from Palette send me. They've become an important part of my life. What the heck was that? That explosion came from the Pokemon Corral Outback. We'd better check it out. Oh, mother fudge. What do you guys think is coming up with an explosion? I wonder what an explosion means in this game. I don't know. I wonder what it could be, guys. Might it be the same freaking people we have been battling constantly? I am not sure. How about we go ahead and check it out? Ha! We followed you here so we could steal your Pikachu. We're through pussyfooting around, so hand over that rat and make a snappy. A talking mouth, incredible. All right, look, look, Professor Oak. These guys are highly intelligent criminals. Can we please... Not sit here and diddle dwaddle with them. Let me just beat them up really quick. Let me send them blasting off again, pretty much. That's pretty much what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and take these guys down. We still have quite a bit we need to do today, too. I know there are a lot of storylines coming up from what you guys have told me. So I'm going to try to run through these guys as quickly as possible. Man, we need to level up a little bit, though. I know a couple of you guys told me that I should probably get my Pokemon to around level 50, maybe 55. And that's definitely something that I'm going to be doing very soon. I'll probably be training that before we make it to the Pokemon League or everything that leads up to it. If I'm correct, and, you know, I'm, I might be since I've been watching the anime, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of in-between stories before, you know, where we are now to making it to the Pokemon League. So I feel like there's going to be quite a bit to do. So I just hope, you know, we can actually knock a lot of that out. All right, let me go ahead and go for the double edge. Maybe it'll do a lot to the wheezing. You never know. The wheezing tends to do a lot of explosive stuff. Hit, hit me with that explosion. Oh, mother fudger. I, I like whenever I switch out Pokemon. Watch. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we go. I'm going to send out Charizard. I wonder what the heck Weezing is going to use this move. Might it be Explosion? Oh, Brad Charizard can't do anything. Wow, Weezing actually didn't use Explosion. That is actually a little bit surprising. And Charizard is listening to me. Does that mean he finally wants to be our friend? Nope. Definitely doesn't want to be our friend. Definitely doesn't want to be our... Oh, oh we're poisoned. You know, I love uh, status moves. I love when this happens to us. It's just, oh man, I just, I enjoy, oh, come on, Charizard. Mother fudger, he says he can't listen to us. We're probably sitting a foot away from him, yelling, flamethrower, and you're telling me he's gonna act like he can't listen to us? Oh, you mother fudger, you sleazy Charizard. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I don't think we're gonna get off a flamethrower here anytime soon, guys, but we can, we can sure as heck try. I don't, I don't think it'll be happening. I don't think we'll be hitting that soon. All right, well, Charizard's going to go down. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and switch out. And guess what? The Weezing is probably going to use a freaking explosion as soon as I come back. All right, that's going to knock me out. Thank goodness. Charizard is so annoying that, he, it, you know, honestly, it is super annoying, the fact that he doesn't listen. It has to be one of the most frustrating things that has been added into this game. If you guys played through it, it's really, really frustrating, the fact that probably your strongest Pokemon other than Pikachu. No, honestly, Bly, your strongest Pokemon doesn't listen to you. With that, that went down. We're gonna go ahead and switch out, though. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out Pikachu. Alright, Pikachu, just clean these guys up. I'm tired of battling them. Let's just go ahead and knock them out. I want to see what else we have in store for today, because I feel like there's probably still a good amount of uh, an adventure out there for us to go through. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt. I'm not even messing around with the Thunder. I feel like I miss quite a bit. The only time I'm gonna start going for Thunders are if they're pretty much guaranteed one-shots. You know, like uh, Licky Tongue coming up next is pretty much a one-shot, but the Arbok, uh, not so much, not so much. All right, there we go. There we go, finally heating up, heating up. There we go, guys, good stuff. All right, Pikachu is kicking some serious butt about time. And you know what? I'm going to go for the Thunder. I like to gamble here once in a while. So we're going to go ahead and gamble it up. We're going to go for the Thunderoo. And we have actually hit it, which is really, really nice for us. So with that, guys, Licky Tongue should go down. If it survives, I'm just going to... Mother Fudger! What the fudge? How did it survive? We're freaking level 50. All right, finally. Team Rocket are honestly some, some of the most annoying people in this game. 
I just want to keep on going because I think one of the coolest, uh, you know, things is coming up. We defeated the Team Rocket cohorts, and uh, goodbye, guys. Can you can you please go go blasting off again? We're blasting off again. I'm gonna head on home now. This has been a long day, but I'll see you at the Pokemon League, Rodri. You just better make sure you train as hard as I do. See you then, Rodri. Well, Rodri, you have a lot of training to do before the league starts. I'll be sure to let you know when the tournament's begun. You know, if you want to do me a favor, maybe you could head to C4 Mile and Easter here. I've been trying to understand how Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro. You can talk to Professor Westwood, the creator of the Pokedex, for me. I'm sure he can enlighten you to the evolution solution. Just follow the Pallet River South. Thanks, Rodri. Okay, guys, so that is actually what we're going to do. Uh, one more thing we're actually going to do very quickly is right here. If you talk to Professor Oak, he'll ask us if we want to leave a Pokemon with him. So thanks to you guys for that. And we are actually going to be leaving a Pokemon with him. But that is a Pokemon that I need to withdraw first. Because if you guys have ever watched the anime, we are going to need a little bit of training on a certain Pokemon. And that Pokemon is going to be the little Krabby we caught a while ago. If I remember correctly, Ash actually asked for the Krabby to come and uh, help out later on once we get to the Indigo League. So for now, we're actually going to go ahead and leave it with Professor Oak. So here you go, Professor Oak. Enjoy it. I, I know you like this a lot, man. I, I know you like taking care of Pokemon and spending time with them and all these crazy shenanigans. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave that there. And we are ready to make our way on out to the Seafoam Islands, which I actually don't think are too crazy to do. I think they're actually pretty easy. But I'm going to go heal up at our mom's place. You know, maybe she's got a little something on the table. You know, it's about that dinner time maybe she's got a little something cooked up you know maybe she's got something on the stove a little something in the oven that'd be kind of nice to her you know warm up a couple biscuits little little biscuits and gravy something nice something nice like that all right so let's go ahead and make our way to the seafoam islands then he said we just got to follow this trail down here so that's what i'm gonna do i am gonna avoid pretty much all the trainers that i can i'm not trying to get into battles right now i'm just trying to get us going and uh, you know see if we can do a little something something here and see if we can you know bump into a couple more storylines so let's go ahead and make our way out onto the sea it is a nice lovely day out here in this beautiful place and let's see if we can find the professor this guy was talking about oh there he is ah who are we here so your friends professor okay Please, don't call me Professor. It's much too formal. My friends and associates all call me Westwood the Fifth. I'm a fifth generation Westwood, so you can see that I come from a long line of Pokemon researchers. At the moment, I'm solving a real life mystery, slowly but surely. I want to discover why Shelter attaches to Slowpoke to cause it to evolve into Slowbro. I've been researching with my Slowpoke. You may have seen it fishing on the beach. If I can understand why Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro, I'll have earned the right to call myself a Westwood. Okay, guys, so we basically have to help him uh, evolve the Slowpoke into a slow bro which is really cool slowpoke doesn't have a lot of tips if you guys remember misty actually gave us the super rod i believe is what it was the super rod so that's what we're going to be using in order to catch a shelter which by now you guys are probably more pokemon professors than professor oak all we need is a shelter attached to a slowpoke and you know bada bing bada boom they combine and uh, they make a new Pokemon. I remember when I was first watching the anime, they had a really strange way of explaining it too. I don't remember what it was. It was something really weird. They were like, here's what you have to do. You have to go ahead and put the shelter on the tail. And the fact that the shelter gets stuck on the tail makes a slowpoke a lot smarter. Or something really freaking weird. I just remember I was like, that makes absolutely no sense on the anime. I still don't know what it is now. Maybe maybe nowadays the Pokedex has a different way of doing it. Uh, but I know back then it just did not make a whole lot of sense to me. So with that, guys, amazing slowpoke and shelter evolved into Slowbro. So we have gone ahead and seen a Slowbro for ourselves, guys. And let's go ahead and talk to the Pokemon Professor again. Rodri, I saw the whole incident from my window. Slowpoke evolved into Slowbro when you introduced Shelter to it. Seeing it in person made me understand so much more clearly. The reason Shelter and Slowpoke bond with each other is because it's mutually beneficial. It allows Slowpoke to stand upright and use powerful moves like the Mega Punch, and it allows Shelter to travel on land. Thank you, Rodri. This is a monumental discovery. As my thanks, please have this rare scale. So with that, guys, we have obtained the Heart Scale. When I present my findings about Slowbro to the Pokemon Symposium, I'll go down as the most renowned research... Yeah, like you did anything, buddy. I was the one who caught the Pokemon and made it clamp onto the other one's tail by sticking a little bit of, you know, Pokemon gum onto him. And next time, guys, we will continue from this point. As you can see, there seems to be a Pikachu staring into the distance, and I wonder who that could be. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.